Hey, Jordan with TYT, TYT Network. Bernie Sanders just finished uh, here at Colorado State University. I'm here with Representative Joe Salazar. Tell me what they call you here. The Chicano Bernie. T tell me, how did you get the Chicano uh, Bernie rap? Well, because I'm Chicano and I legislate the way Bernie does. I protect the underserved and the underrepresented. What's some of the issues you're battling here in the area? We have a lot of issues involving income inequality, rising cost of college tuition. When I was in college back in the late 80s, early 90s, I paid $992 a semester. And so now it's tens of thousands of dollars a year to, to come to a public institution. We have high schoolers who are talking about other options, and that shouldn't happen here in America. Everybody and their mother says it's unrealistic for free uh, public college. So how's it going to get it done? Well, I guess it would be unrealistic if we just follow establishment politics. It would be unrealistic if we don't actually have the wealthiest pay their share here in America. I guess that would make it unrealistic. But I believe that this man can make it happen. And, uh, and not only that, but, you know, it was the idealists who built this country. It was the idealists who, who, uh, who had the great discoveries, the great creations that made us what we are. And I'm not going to stop being an idealist, and I know that Senator Sanders isn't either. Uh, Senator Sanders spoke with Chris Matthews on MSNBC last week. He's very inside the beltway, saying, how are you going to get it done? You need 60 votes to block a filibuster. And Senator Sanders was saying, I'm going to get people to mobilize uh, and put pressure on the Senate Republicans. But it seems like the establishment doesn't really look, they don't even allow uh, the chance to even think that way. A revolution, a movement like this, it's grassroots, it's the people. That's exactly what Senator Sanders is building. He's building a grassroots net uh, network of the people to start this revolution and to move it forward. And that means that we have to vote some of those lazy guys out of, out of, uh, out of Congress and put it- And some of them are Dems. Some of them are Democrats. And you know, sometimes we have to do that too. Uh, I'm not afraid of, of, of accountability and the people need to hold their elected officials accountable. And here's another thing, is that if Hillary is elected, she's gonna run across the same problems, right? How is she gonna get anything through? We have a do-nothing Congress with do-nothing uh, representatives and senators. She's gonna face some serious problems too. But I like what Senator Sanders said tonight. If you start your campaign talking about the need for a half a loaf, you're gonna get crumbs. And the American people today do not want, do not need crumbs. They need the whole loaf. Talk to me about the Latino community here, because we were just in South Carolina and spoke with a lot of African Americans. We spoke with Rudy Gonzalez earlier, and he basically was saying, you know, we're not only concerned about immigration. We have oil and gas companies that are fracking all up and down the uh, the uh, the northern Colorado area, and now they're starting to come into the uh, into the Denver area into our suburbs. Um, which means that we are very concerned about water quality, about air quality. Uh, we have earthquakes that are now starting to roll around here in Colorado. And yes, we're also concerned about immigration. We're worried about racial inequality. We're worried about Trump and the rest of the circus clowns in terms of what they're saying on the national stage about pretty much anybody who is non-white. With Donald Trump, you know, what I see from talking to a lot of the supporters, it's not even about they think immigrants are taking their jobs or not assimilating. In a way, I think there's a subconscious or conscious fear that they are going to become the minority. Here in the state of Colorado, we will be the majority minority within the next 10 or 15 years, and we're trying to pass legislation that is fair for everybody. But then when we see our colleagues on the opposite side of the aisle trying to really repress and oppress uh, communities of color. Yes, yeah, so it is playing out. How is uh, Senator Sanders and his supporters going to fight the media narrative now that, you know, it's, it's a foregone conclusion now for Secretary Clinton? So let's make no mistake about it. So everybody knew that she was going to win in South Carolina. But he's also won in areas, or been very, very close, like in Iowa and also in Nevada, mm -hmm. where he was behind by double digits. Right. So he's, he is creeping up and he is catching up. And as we know, on the nationwide scale, he's beating her on the nationwide scale. And he could beat every single Republican out there where she struggles. And I think that's the narrative. And that's why we need to elect him as our next president. Of the you United think States. she's vulnerable against Donald Trump? Oh, I think she's extremely vulnerable against Donald Trump. She's